Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, here's a quick video, and it involves removing valve springs. Um, these are new heads, um, but I got to change the valve springs out for a different spring pressure rate and all that type of stuff. That doesn't matter with this. I wanted to show you a cool tool that CAMS makes. It's specifically for the small block Chevy, and what it does is it safely removes valve springs, and it does it pretty quick. So kind of what you have here is um, it's a base. If you look here, pretty solid chunk of steel, and it, it goes over your rocker studs. Um, this is all a kit. It comes with the pressure plate here, and it comes with various mounting hardware for different um, rocker guide uh, thread sizes. So it's pretty simple. Basically what you do is you're going to pop your everything loose. You're going to put this on just like that. Not too hard to do. And what I do on this is you're going to run these on. Make sure you got the right ones for the right rocker studs. Just run them on like that. And I'm not going to tighten them yet. I'm going to leave them semi-loose because there is a little bit of wiggle room. And then you take your pressure plate here. You're going to line it up so nothing is in the way. I'm going to run this down by hand. Just like that. So if you look here now, we do have um, everything set up kind of loosely per se. I'm going to try to get a better shot of this. And what you got here now is, if you look closely, you got your pressure plate that sits over here that's going to actually compress the valve springs. It's over the retainer. Um, your keepers in here are exposed. You don't want this to go over there. And you just line it up so it, it matches. And then all you do from there is, is you're going to take a wrench. Make sure these are tight. So what you're going to do is then you're just going to take your wrench and you're just going to snug these up in place. Nothing crazy, you just want it snug in place. All that's doing is creating this, the actual mounting part of it. It's going to hold this down in place so it doesn't want to move around. This is finger tight. And from there, put a wrench on it. I'll probably do two of these and show you from different angles. Go down, start compressing them. Sometimes the valves will stick with those keepers because these are new heads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this head over. Take a look. Yep, valves are popping with it. There we go. And take the keepers out. This is where a nice little... Magnet pen comes in handy. We're a pair of needle nose. Got a couple hanging up. Run those down a little bit more. There you go. Keepers come out. Put those away. Back this off. And I will show the other side of this from the other angle. Run this back up. Until there's no pressure on the, the valves, valve springs. Run it out by hand. You don't have to take the tool completely out. Slide that out of the way. The pressure plate. Take your retainers out. Take your valve springs out. Pretty simple.